I saw we got Captain America. <laughs> yeah, what, what can you say? It's Cap. I love it. It's um, uh, Daniel Bell. Yep. Again, speculative design on the suit, which I always love. You know, just trying to. It's, an, it's a love letter to the character, but it's also a chance to play and work in, in our head. How can we design this suit, you know? Um, it, it's just classic. He went with, a, I loved it, he went with like a, um, a Greek statue pose. I think it's super cool. It was like super inspired. I was like, dude, he looks so good. So he's got this classic mythology thing going on, which I love. He also lights really well. There's some really sweet textures mixed in here. Um, all sculpt, no cut and sew. Uh, he has his... Uh, uh, Ultron sentry arm down there, which I dig. Complements really nicely with Black Widow. Black Widow, right? Um, but yeah, it's, it's Daniel Bell. That's pretty much all I can say. You yeah, know? Daniel Bell, man. <laughs> I know. So he's got another one coming out for you guys too, right? Oh, Four? Yeah, yeah there, oh, there's, uh, there's plenty of Daniel Bell. Yeah. yeah you'll see it. Um, uh, I'm a big fan of his. <laughs> we, have, uh, we have Breaker Brimstone Thor here, and we have his, uh, his Daredevil as well. Which one? Daredevil. Really? <laughs> yes, yes, right, the Daredevil. Yeah, I gotta see that. <laughs> All right, Frost. Emma Frost. Yeah, I really she's beautiful. Like this one. Um, I love the bass. <laughs> yeah, I love the bass. It's like, what happened here, lady? Come on. So, so uh, what are we looking at here? Like, uh, a, they have the danger room, but uh, like Cerebro. Yeah. It's okay. Cerebro with the shattered helm. You got what's left of Cyclops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, this looks like a big old boot print to me. Juggernaut. Who knows what that could be? Yeah. Um, so we're, we're expanding the um, the X Men line. Uh, some of which are Danger Room inspired. Some of which are Sentinel inspired. Um, that may or may not be a story that's being told. Um, it's going to be fun to see where that expands. Um, but the idea is absolutely that all these pieces work together. Um, yeah, it's 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 an ongoing line. It's going to expand. We have um, Emma Frost right here with uh, Gang Cut and So. We really wanted to get some texture on there, so it's it's tough. It's a classic costume, yeah. you know. There's not a lot to work with in terms of texture, so the be the best thing we can do is start looking at like that contrasting fabrics, especially in her, in her shin pieces and stuff like that. Right. And then the wired cape, I think, is a lot of fun. I've seen it displayed in the office where they did it big, billowing like her hair, and yeah. that looked really really cool as well. All right. If you got the room to do that, it's cool to do it up, do it big. Right. Like the same as her, her hair. When she's like she's using her abilities, right? Yeah. And then there's an alternate portrait on this with the blue lips and right. the crazy eyes. She's like full psycho, which I love. And she's got this mad grin going on. Yeah. Looks That's awesome. Cool. Yeah. Big fan. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Well, yeah, this piece is awesome. Psylocke? Yeah, let's check out Psylocke. Yeah. Beautiful Psylocke. I love this base. Yeah, this is... Yeah. And you know I'm a sucker for this stuff. I'm going to re-repeat myself. But any any time we can start to do these things with the um, the different resins, the different textures, um, I'm always I'm always a sucker for it. And she, and she's cool as hell. I really really like Psylocke how she came out. Uh, the muscles in her arm I think are great. I really I, I'm a fan of this character. She um, definitely has a very like. I can whip your ass look and oh, of appearance course. to her. Yeah, yeah, why wouldn't you? We're noticing so. that a lot more on the X-Men ladies than on, the, on this line is they're very um, tough. Yeah, we right? want to we want to really try and exude confidence with these characters. You know, they're they're kicking ass. You know, especially with what we have in mind with these pieces. Um, it's not it's not a static situation. This is these are characters who might be fighting other characters or facing off against other characters. We want them to look like they're, they're engaging. Um, I'm enjoying what we're doing with the eye lines. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's, there's conversations going on here, and it's it's going to be fun to see um, in the future who they're having those conversations with. Yeah. So, is she going to have any other switch outs as well, or is it just going to be the uh, samurai swords? She has, I believe, a switch out arm. Um, but we'll know for sure soon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the case. Yeah, I think that's going to be the exclusive on that one. It's, it's beautiful. I love the, the, the dynamic way her um, sash, sash, I guess that was, yep, wrapping yep. around her like that. It looks like her abilities are like forming around her. Yeah, it's, the whole thing's kind of got a twist to it. Yeah. Um, in the pose, in the placement of the hips, flow of her hair, even the way she's holding it, it feels like it's spinning, which yeah. I dig. I think it's a really good job. And the base doesn't have a large footprint either, so it looks like no. it'll be you know, an easy display piece. Yeah, again, so. that's it's that hopefully that mix between museum and dynamic. Right. Um, and like I say, it's a conversation. There's definitely something going on there. So uh, yeah. all of these, hopefully you guys will see a bit of a story being told. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, that's really cool.